but there are those who might have said government was out of the way while the housing crisis was created. So was there a proper role that government should have been involved with ahead of all that? Uh, how did the government miss the boat uh, when you're talking about keeping the government out in the first place? Government didn't miss the boat. Government created the boat. <laughs> government, government put the holes in the boat. If you go back to the financial meltdown of 2008, it's all precipitated because of the practices of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Yep. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac is the root of why we had holes in the boat, because of the practice of bundling mortgages, the practice of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac making it too easy for banks to sell them bad mortgages that were bundled. The other thing, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have not received the oversight that they should have received for at least a decade because Chris Dodd, head of the Oversight Committee in the Senate, Barney Frank, head of the Oversight Committee in the House of Representatives, yes, I am naming names because they did not do their job. They did not do their job. There is evidence that the books at Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have been cooked, but they did nothing about it. That's the source. Now, I'm not mad at y'all. I just get passionate about this. You understand? So if government had not made it too easy for, for banks and mortgage companies to bundle up those mortgages, we wouldn't have had that part of the problem. Now, that was another piece. Yes, Wall Street has some blame in this, but not total blame. The derivatives market was not properly defined in terms of what businesses can do. And to give you an example, everybody in here is familiar with Enron. Well, that was probably the early precursor to someone who pushed derivatives too far to the edge and it caused that company to decline. So I do believe that there need to be some responsible regulations relative to the derivatives markets, as well as some of the other investment instruments that are used. But at this point, I support totally repealing Dodd-Frank legislation, and let's do it right the next time.